Want to play Nintendo Switch games on your PC in full 4K? No lag? Let me show you how to set up the Reusion emulator in under five minutes. It's easier than you think. Let's go. All we had to do was follow the damn train, CJ. What's wrong? Snake! Snake! The first thing you want to do is download Reusion 1.3.2, which was the latest version at the time of this recording. Once downloaded, you can see the emulator on my desktop. You want to right click your folder and using an application like 7-Zip, select Extract 2 and then delete the zipped folder. And as usual, all our links are in the description. You then open your unzipped file and then launch the application. Now, as this is the first time you're launching this application, you may come across the error, keys not found. Simply select OK, and then we're gonna add our keys. Now, unfortunately, I can't tell you where to get your keys from, but what I can say is that Google is your best friend. We wanna select File, Open Reusing Folder, select System, and then drag your keys into this folder. Then you can exit out. We're then gonna install our firmware. So you wanna select action, install firmware, and then install firmware from XCI or zip. The great thing about this is that we do not have to unzip our firmware folder. It can stay in a zipped format. So you navigate to the folder where your firmware is saved. For me, it's saved on my desktop, and you select open. You will then receive a confirmation pop-up asking you whether or not you want to continue. Simply select yes, and then once it's installed successfully, you can select OK. And before we go ahead and start playing our games, we're gonna go into the settings. So you wanna select options and then settings. Now the first settings we're gonna change are in relation to the controllers. So we're gonna select input. And at this stage, it's worth noting that my PS5 controller is already synced to my PC. I'm gonna select input device and change it to DualSense wireless controller. And then I'm gonna ensure that the controller type is set to pro controller. Now the great thing about this emulator is that your controller buttons are already mapped. Now if you do want to remap them or change them for whatever reason, you select the button on the screen and then you press the button on your controller. Once you're happy with the setting, you simply select apply. It's worth noting that this emulator works with Xbox One controllers, PS5 controllers, PS4 controllers, Nintendo Switch controllers. Well, those are the controllers I tested and there may be many more out there. We're gonna head over to systems and to help us bypass crashes and boot in certain games, we're gonna enable ignore missing services. Once done, we head over to graphics and here you can change the resolution scale and also the aspect ratio. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm gonna leave everything on the default setting. And now that's done, we can head over to user interface where we're gonna add our game directories. Under game directories, you click add and you select the folder where your games are stored. Now, depending on how many games you are loading, this may take a few seconds to minutes. You then click OK and after a few seconds, your games should appear. Now here you have the options of having your games in a tile view or even a grid view. Once you have selected your preference, you can then double click your game to launch it and you can sit back and get to gaming. So guys, if you enjoyed the video, please feel free to leave a like and also hit that subscribe button. Until next time, catch you later.